Syrian state television said Israel was attacking the south of the country. This attack was the third time in 10 days. The Israeli missiles targeted the military base of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards. The Syrian military spokesman said missiles flying over the Golan Heights had targeted a number of locations but that a number of missiles had been dropped by the air defense system. Live broadcast showed that a multi-story building caught fire. Our air defenses are responding to Israeli air aggression on a number of targets in the southern region. State media quoted a spokesman for the Syrian armed forces as saying on Thursday, 7-1. Two military defectors said one missile hit the Kiswa area on the southern outskirts of the capital Damascus and one on a military base used by the Iran-backed Hezbollah group. The Israeli military spokesman did not immediately comment. Last month, the chief of staff of the Israel Defense Forces Aviv Kachubi said the missile strike was launched to slow down the Iranian stronghold in Syria. This year, we have hit more than 500 targets, on all sides, apart from a number of covert emissions, he said. Israel believes the bases in eastern, central and southern Syria which they have attacked in recent months are being used by Iranian-backed armed militias. This was revealed by intelligence sources and military defectors who are familiar with these locations. Western intelligence sources said Israel stepped up its attacks in Syria in the last month. This attack is one of the shadow wars approved by the United States and an anti-Iran policy that undermines Iran's military strength without sparking worse hostility. They say that in recent years Israel has expanded their targets across Syria.